hi and here we are again to continue uh, this picture it will be the last video on it um, for now it's uh, activating the ink tents on the snakes and then um, coloring in this uh, pot and I was thinking these pumpkins are not as bright uh, yellow um, orange than this one on top so I thought it would be nice to do some glitter uh, orange uh, in in the tin here like it's her doing extra orange on the pumpkins so um, but okay we will see how it goes I will be starting I think with the apple green here on these parts It's, it's so special how bright these colors become when, when you activate them. They are really fun to work with. Some other parts here. Am I still in focus? No, I am not. This book is too large. <laughs> mm. Oh, and I have a bit here, down here. Okay. The apple green is activated. And now the scary part. The mustard and the beach green, I think it was. Yes, beach green. Mm. Now it's a bit difficult to decide which color to activate first or do I activate them both? That's a bit tricky. Because I don't want harsh lines between the two colors so I think it's for the best that I activate them both quite simult simultaneous. But I also want the mustard not to disappear in that beach green. But I think so far so good. And I forgot a purple spot right there. So far I'm very happy with the color choice. He is a bit, or she, a bit flashy, but not too much. Yeah. Happy. And I think the apple green gives it that little extra sunshine.
Okay, and we are done. The only thing I don't like is that he doesn't have enough mustard on his head. So I'm just dipping some from my pencil and adding a bit extra, but not too much. Here and there, some extra. To brighten it a bit more. Make it more sunny. Yes, that's it. Okay, now I will grab a grey. I'm thinking about Payne's grey for the tin. It's just a tiny area to color. And all the other stuff will be glitter. So, I'm doing a bit of Payne's grey here. And now that I'm at it, I will grab my oak to give her brush some color. This may be a bit of gray too. Oak again for the brush itself. It's a bit of a bluish grey. In between our fingers. Okay. So that was the intense part. Now I will uh, have to grab my coloring card. So I'm just going to write this over here. Here we are again. And now that I'm looking at it, she needs a little bit of red oxide here. And no red oxide on her hair. Yeah, too late. A bit of... How is that called? Shiraz? Okay. Now... This is my pencil case with all the glittery stuff in it. These are my Chinese glitter gel pens, just fillings. 
but they were great. My black one is almost died. Um, I'm thinking about doing her, or will, or am I going to do them in black? No, I will go with the red. I have a tiny problem though. <coughs> Excuse me. I wanted to do these guys in black, but do I have an extra black glitter gel pen? I'm not sure. I think I have, but because out of this one there isn't much left. I have a kind of a bronze also, but maybe that's not quite suitable, or maybe two in bronze and two in black. I believe I have a spare set of uh, glitter gel pins. Hold on, I'm going to grab those two. To check, and yeah, it's running so okay. I'm just starting off with her horns in red, and it won't be visible, unfortunately, how glittery these are, but um, I will try with my finished pages. Because I don't know where I've put or where my husband has put the flashlight and I'm going this to give this guy red horns too um, and since I'm filming with my phone I can't uh, make an extra light to uh, let the sparkle do its work But you see already how fluid this color. So I was very impressed with those. There are no more um, horns left. So now for the paint, I'm going to pretend that this pot is also spoiled with all the orange paint. beautiful orange color and I am wondering because he has a lot of drops is he painted too? I don't know Or maybe he has just some bad luck flying in her neighborhood. Um, for her shoe and this part of her dress, I'm going to use some yellow, I think. Just a bit of a gold touch. This part can be gold. The dots on her shoes. 
can have some gold. heels her heels may have some black and there's still some coming out so I will try to start this bed in black and maybe I can do another one in copper And of course I lose some details when using a black glitter gel pen. These eyes will disappear, but that's not a problem. We get some lovely glitter in return, so... Okay. I think I'm going to do this one also in black. And I will use some stickles on this page too. He's uh, holding that out very long, in my opinion. It's uh, quite surprising. I didn't expect it uh, that. Okay. Now the copper. Hmm, no. No, 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 no. Too, too orangey, I think. No, I'm going to continue with black. It resembles a bit too much to the orange in this picture. So, no. I'd rather have some uh, contrasts. And here he dies. Okay, going to grab this one. And I hope it has the same amount of glitter and that it's not too obvious that it's another brand. It's weird to say, but it doesn't color that good. Not as good as the, the filling did. But it will have to do. It's more scratchy. But maybe that's because he's, he's new. It will... Uh, it's becoming a, bit, a little bit better already. Nevertheless, the other one was smooth right away and I uh, when I watched the color technique glitter gel pen review the lady that uh, tested them also said that they were very uh, fluid and and very nice to work with so I'm very excited to test those going to oops I think the amount of glitter is okay of this pen though Ok, 
three. Now I will add some stickles on her dress. And I'm, I think I'm going for mercury glass. Just putting down some dots. And I'm not liking that yellow that much. It's a bit too heavy. So I think I will just go over that with the mercury glass too to soften it a bit. Just have to make sure that I'm not putting some gel pen around. Oh, I forgot these little parts. Oh, I forgot his little teeth. They may be red too. And his eyes may be yellow. Yes. And then, of course, Mr. Spider can have a glittery web. And I think I will use my stardust I'm just shaking the bottle and I'm going to put some stardust on these bubbles too And thanks to that nozzle tip, it's quite easy to even create a spider web. I have to shake the bottle a bit again. I'm going to turn the page around a bit. Can I zoom in? I'm hoping that it will be a bit sharp to see. And I think that's part of the wood. No, it's part of the web. I couldn't uh, see it not being straight before me. Okay, 
Mr. Spider, you have a beautiful web now. I'm just going to grab this thing. It's used for nail art, but it's also a good tool to uh, to guide your stickles if you're not very happy with how they are lying down. It's because I'm sitting a bit too far away that I couldn't do it more decent. And I forgot these parts. Grab the mercury gloss again and put down some dots. Okay. Yes. I hope. Yeah, it's a bit visible. I'm going to refocus. Look at these. And which one was the, the last I've colored? This one. Yeah, the glitter is also okay, but the, the other ones are coloring more um, fluid. And her sparkly dress. And now to the spider web. Look at that. And it will be even more beautiful when dried up. So, going to zoom you out again. The finished page. Very happy. Only used pencils for her skin over a base layer of marker and all the rest intense pencils. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I'm in love with the colors of of everything. It's yeah. Yeah, I'm very 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 happy. I'm just going to put down my initials on it. I always do. And it's LP 9075 and LP is for Little Phantom because I'm not a big person and I'm as pale as a phantom can be. And Phantoms was my or is my most favorite horror novel by Dean Koontz. Phantoms, it was, yeah, it is a terrific novel so that's why I've chosen my birth year and then uh, that nickname and did I? No, it will have to do. Okay, thank you so much for joining me on this uh, Halloween uh, tour, <laughs> the intense Halloween uh, picture. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I did. And um, now I will have to think about a new uh, page to color and to join or to share it with uh, you guys, I mean. But now it's 11 o'clock, so I will, uh, I'm going to get myself ready and go to my dermatologist. So, um, wishing you all a very pleasant uh, Friday and weekend. Enjoy your free time and um, we will talk soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.